I want to invite our dear friend, the village idiot and high schooler, the Jupiter intern, up here to tell us a little bit about how the launch pool models are going to work. Hello, uh, how's it going? Hello, I'm I'm Joshua, also known as Village Idiot on Twitter. I am a high school intern at Jupiter, and I just joined like December, just December. Throwing you so... in the deep end, basically right away here on the planetary call, talking to hundreds and thousands of people. What can you tell us, Joshua, about how the LFG launch pool model works? So currently. There are some launch pool models, but current launch pool models are very rigid and assumes a one size fits all model. So our launch pool model aims to give projects flexibility and allow them to decide on how they want to distribute their liquidity depending on their strategy. So our launch pool utilizes Metaurus DLM pools that allows to create customizable launch pools. What well, can you tell us about how the price curve mechanics work here? So our launch pool uses a price curve which describes how the price changes as more tokens are purchased from the pool. So as you can see from the graph here, as more tokens are purchased or withdrawn from the pool, your price will increase. So this is example of the price curve. Yeah, from so super cool. And people can play around with this stuff. themselves as well. Yeah, yeah. I can go to lfg.jupag slash design to play around. So our projects can make custom curves based on their current market expectations, the amount they want to raise, and the demand for the token. So projects can customize their own curve by changing the four parameters that I use to create the curve, and you can check it out. So our price curve uses this formula. It looks a bit scary because there's a lot of variables in it but it basically describes the relationship between p and c basically p being the price and c being the number of tokens that have been withdrawn from the pool so you have other variables such as initial price max price total number of tokens in the pool and but the most interesting of these variables is k which is if you can see is the exponent we have two examples here one with with different k values the first example with k equals 0 0.3 and this is a steep early curve which is meant to discourage botting as the price increases very fast at the start so that is the aggressively anti-bot and you have a second example with k equals 2.5 which is a much flatter early curve that allows for much more botting as there is much more liquidity at the start so bots can actually get a lot more of the early liquidity at lower prices. Projects customize this curve based on their needs. So from the price curve, we can derive a liquidity distribution graph, which is basically how your liquidity is just distributed over your price range. Yeah, we, we can calculate this from using the inverse of the derivative of the price curve. And from this example, we can see there is much more liquidity at higher prices towards the right compared from the start where at low prices where there's less liquidity we can use the liquidity distribution to create the dlmm bins which shows how much tokens are in each bin so each bin is calculated by multiplying the number of tokens in each bin and the price of the token in the bin and we can use the liquidity distribution graph to create this model you can actually see that in the dlmm there's actually many bins at different prices with its with their own individual prices one of the main reasons projects launch on Jupiter IFG, is to secure liquidity, stable liquidity, such as USDC. And we can calculate this by using the integral of the price curve. Projects can then find out how much they can raise given a certain price is hit or a certain amount of tokens have been withdrawn from the pool. So we can put this data on a price, we can put this in a table which allows project to estimate how much they can expect to raise. So this is the price and token table for when. And yeah, so you can projects can use this to see how much they can raise. In summary, our price curve can be used to generate the liquidity distribution graph, which then can be used to generate a model of the DRM bins. And our price curve can also be integrated to estimate the amount of funds that can be raised. Some of my future plans for the going forward is to create a new price curve model that uses monotone cubic Hermite interpolation, create a custom price curve, which gives projects more flexibility. Incredible. Folks, this is Josh's first time talking Josh, about this. Josh, he gave him the hardest really shit to talk about. about. This is just crazy. I don't know what you were doing in high school, but I assure you, it's not talking to thousands of DGENs around the world about how price curves and the LFG launch pool work. Excellent job, my friend. Ultimately, 
hopefully what you're able to get, this is that inside look where you can understand the thinking behind why these mechanisms are designed the way they are. And the great thing is, as with most things Jupiter, you can actually play around with it yourself at lfg.jupe.ag slash design. Well, I want to really encourage everyone. The projects are going to propose a model, whether it's Zeus or whether it's Shaki or any other project. So what was actually really cool here is that you could actually give them feedback, right? You can be like, hey, you can actually assuming the price is a point, how much money is raised. You can see the exact curve, how fast they're going to go, how far steep and stuff, right? Even for the Juke launch, we did that, right? We actually shared the link with the community and the community gave us feedback, right? It was really good feedback. We actually made some last minute adjustments based on the community giving us feedback. Absolutely. Not only is this to help educate just for your own edification, but also so that you can make better decisions with future LFG Launchpad candidates. And if you're a builder out there, this is just yet another reason to try to get onto the LFG Launchpad for something that can be fully customized to your needs, taking a lot of those dark room dealings putting out in public so people can give you feedback and help you improve as well.